it's an awesome responsibility to come out here and protect this bridge and protect people. My name is Bruce Watkins. I am a bridge tech on the 520 floating bridge and I've worked for the state for four years. Okay. We have three guys that are on call at all times for the 520 floating bridge. So we would hopefully be out here before the windstorm hit. It definitely throughout the storm will send waves all the way across four lanes of traffic. So we would, you know, come and respond to the shop, get in our truck and head out to the bridge. We can then come back over here to the tower, check our barometer, check the weather, look at this panel right here to make sure that we don't have any alarms on that. So this would be one of the first things you'd check here. You got your barometer reading and your, your average wind speed, your wind gust, your, the direction the wind's coming out of. Right down here on the bottom, it will tell you if it is in a wind alarm at this particular point in time. And then we'd go out and do our physical walk around. This is our vertical guide roller right here. This is what the bridge rides on as it, as it moves back and forth. So this is one of the main things we would come down to check if we were in a, a storm watch situation. In a storm, it's a lot of it is visual, but a lot of it is also audio. I mean, you, you can hear this, the way that the bridge rides, and if something's gonna go wrong, it'll make a big noise. And that's, that's what will be one of your main clues when you're out here on the storm watch, is that something just doesn't sound right or feel right. But we do have automatic pumps down below here, because a lot of, uh, water will come through here during the storm. Then hopefully we'd have IRT or State Patrol to help us and we would shut the bridge off at both ends, swing the barriers at both ends, and make sure that there was no traffic on the bridge at all. Drop the gates, raise the decks, and then separate the bridge. We don't want to lose it. It's a several million dollar piece of equipment, which is a, you know, a main arterial in our state. So we need to protect it as well as we can. It's cement that floats on water. Pretty awesome, actually.